All right, thank you, Ray. A new warning from the U.S. Postal Service. Do not send checks through the mail. KDK Money Editor John Delano explains why. Americans wrote 3.4 billion checks last year, according to the Federal Reserve. And many of them end up in the U.S. Postal Service to pay bills for one thing or another. Now the post office is warning, don't put checks in the mail. Why? Because more of them are getting stolen than ever. Unfortunately, this is something that can happen. The Postal Service reports that complaints of mail theft doubled in 2021. And banks report the check fraud jumped to 680,000 reports last year, up from 300,000 the year before. So who is stealing these checks? Not entirely clear. Could be workers at postal distribution centers who recognize a check in an envelope, or perhaps more likely, thieves who fish envelopes out of mailboxes. That has led the post office in some areas to install highly secured mailboxes with small openings that won't take many envelopes, forcing customers to get out of their cars and go into the post office. Whoever is doing the theft, data on your bank checks can be used by sophisticated scam artists who can also change the name of the payee and even the amount on the check. Caitlin Driscoll at the local Better Business Bureau says this happens here. Have you heard reports of that? Yes, and this isn't anything new either, unfortunately, when it comes to different counterfeit checks, counterfeit check fraud. The post office says if you must mail a check, avoid the mailbox and bring the envelope directly into the post office. If you are choosing to mail a check, uh, it's always recommended use a secure mail drop such as inside a post office versus an unsecure public facing mailbox. Of course, many companies now prefer that you pay online, but that has its own set of fraud issues with the growth of online payment fraud. One study found two and a half million online transactions were compromised last year. Pay by credit card, not debit, if at all possible. Credit card payment is always the safest method because you have the most legal recourse and uh, the most amount of time short, should a transaction go awry. Bottom line, whether you pay by check, credit card, or online, minimize the risk as best as you can. John Delano, KDKA TV News.